So I just want to cover a quick topic here in relation to the vital signs checks during a restraint. And certainly since the death of Christopher Alder back in the late 90s, and then the report that was produced in 2006 um, in relation to the launch of the safer detention and handling of persons in police custody, it's been repeatedly and consistently brought out in relation to deaths during restraints that staff are of the opinion the person is breathing or has breathed and therefore they don't need, for example, CPR or to declare a medical emergency. And we still hear um, people talking about breathing, not breathing. But the phrase I want to draw your attention to is breathing normal, not normal. So breathing normal, not normal. And, and this is guidance from the European Resuscitation Council in relation to those breathing checks. So it's about ensuring that your first aid provider is providing the correct terminology for you as a you know, service user. Because if, if you're involved in a restraint and you're conducting the vital signs, which somebody is required to be conducting those vital signs frequently and as often as possible during any restraint, so if you think about most people have heard of the doctors ABC, the D for danger, the R for response, the S for shout for help or, or dial for help, um, ABC for airway breathing and C for either circulation stroke CPR. Um, when we're talking about the R for response, the key phrase for you to think about is, is the, is the restrained person um, responsive or unresponsive? So are they unresponsive? If they are unresponsive, then at that point we're shouting for additional help anyway because as a, as a secure custody provider or a person who's conducting the restraint, you're still going to need a medically trained person getting out to you, so you're still going to be calling for help at that point. If the airway is checked and it's open and there's nothing um, obstructing the airway and again just don't think about airway being the mouth because if any pressure is to the torso or any part of the respiratory system and that's from the diaphragm right up you know if there's anything on the torso that could be impacting the ability to breathe it's not just about any obstruction of the mouth there but when you get to the breathing check it's are they breathing is it normal or not normal not just the fact that you can hear anything and time and time again we hear staff say they heard a noise, they heard a sound, they heard a breath because a lot of people will still make noises even though they've gone into cardiac arrest. So early recognition that something's gone wrong, if the person is unresponsive and not breathing normally this is a medical emergency so as staff involved in a restraint it is a case of declaring medical emergency, um, removal of the restraints and ensuring that the professional medical attention is en route or if professional medical attention is present involved in the restraint that they are then taking the lead in relation to a medical response because if the person is unresponsive and not breathing normally the threat in relation to, to risk has significantly reduced because they are unresponsive and not breathing normally. So keywords in relation to breathing, either normal or not normal, normal, not normal.